Hey you guys, Nacho Wu here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to perfect your skills using the DMR in Halo Reach. So before we get started here guys, let me tell you what this tutorial is all about. Basically my main goal is to educate you guys and show you guys through videos, clips, and diagrams on how the DMR works and how you can become more efficient and win those one-on-one -on -one battles with other people. So let's get started with the basics. First strike. Now I'm almost positive that most of you guys already knew this, but it takes a five shot minimum to kill with the DMR. That's four to lower their shields and then one headshot to finally finish them. But the biggest difference between Halo 3 and Halo Reach is that in Halo Reach you are not rewarded for a headshot until their shields are all the way down. Let me show you guys a few clips to show you what I mean. First strike! Gain the lead. So as you guys can see, whether it's a headshot, a toe shot, a chest shot, arm, finger, you know, as long as you hit them, it's going to take four shots to lower their shields and then one headshot to kill them. Now Bungie decided to come up with something called Bloom. And with the bullet spread being completely random, what does it mean for people like me who always go for the head? Let's find out. So what you guys are about to see is an animation I made um, with the smaller ridicule being the first shot right in the center and the bigger ridicule being the bullet spread and how big it can get. And let's watch what happens when you aim just at the chest. As you can see with this ridicule and this bullet spread, all four bullets hit the body. But what happens when we use the same ridicule, aim for the head, and have the same exact bullet spread. So as you can see it's a little bit more costly if you go for the head because with that same bullet spread you're gonna be missing the body three out of four times whereas if you were to aim the ridicule at a fatter part of the body or the torso you'd be hitting them four times and be much more efficient. So now that you guys have the gun basics down, it's important to know the two other things in Halo, which is punching and grenades. Now punching in this is different from the previous Halos, because punching in this either takes down their shields or kills them. So if you have three shots put into them, you know, you might as well put a fourth in to take down their shields and then finish them off to kill them. I always like to think of it as almost like a sniper rifle shot that doesn't hit the head. So the sniper rifle will either take down their shields or kill them. Here's a great example of meleeing to kill with the shields down. Notice on the first kill, he gets that last shot in there before he punches him for the kill. Gain the lead. Double kill. Now this next clip's the other way around. Notice how he punches him first and then finishes him off with the headshot. Now let's talk a little bit about grenades. Grenades, unlike punching, has a set amount of damage, so they can still have a little bit of shields left in them and it'll be able to kill them. This clip is a perfect example because he gains the upper hand by throwing a grenade beforehand. 
and that way most of their shields are down and he'll be able to take them out with a couple shots. Always do this beforehand to get the upper hand on your opponent. Now before we end here guys, I'm going to give you guys a few more tips and scenarios and just things that you can remember to help you be more efficient with using the DMR. The first thing you guys should get from this tutorial is always get the upper hand and always put yourself into a position where you can either you know punch them or throw a grenade before they start shooting you so it'll be a lot easier to win that one-on-one -on -one DMR battle. Now I didn't mention this in the video but tip number two is always stick with your teammates. Um, it's important to do this because you know if you and a buddy pair up and shoot one guy you could get their shields down twice as fast. And that is it for today's tutorial, guys. Um, I always appreciate your guys' comments, the subscribers. Um, I should be coming out with a invasion tutorial soon, some new HD videos. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, go ahead and check them out. Um, if you like this one, I always appreciate your guys' comments. Um, or if you have like a video response, go ahead and post that. I'd be happy to put it up for you. Thanks again, you guys. I hope this helped, and I hope to see you guys in the future.